Roger Ashburnham built Scotney Castle around 1378 in response to a threat of a French invasion. Originally, it was a construction of four towers with adjoining abutments surrounded by a lake-type moat and similar to nearby Bodium Castle. As we now walk around the lake, we note the Ashburnham Tower is all that can be seen of the original four towers. The three towers were pulled down together with much of the rest of the castle in the Elizabethan period and an Elizabethan house built on the site by the Dowell family who lived there for some 350 years. In 1778 the Hussey family bought the castle and the surrounding estate but family tragedies and misfortunes meant that the family left the estate around 1800. By the 1830s the house had fallen into ruins and only the Ashburnham Tower and part of the south wing adjoining the tower remained intact. Keenly interested in gardening and architecture, Edward Hussey moved back into the estate with the intention of building a new house. But this would be on higher land overlooking the castle. He set about removing some of the uninteresting features of what remained of the castle and landscaped the rest of the ruins and the surrounding gardens. This would provide for spectacular views from the new house and pleasant walks for the family and their guests. Part of the old castle was put to use to house family retainers with the old south wing being inhabited until the 1920s. In 1952, Christopher Hussey inherited the estate from his uncle, Edward Windsor Hussey, who was a great influence and Lord Lothian of National Trust fame. And on Christopher's death, the house, castle and estate passed into the safekeeping of the National Trust. Today, Scotney Castle is one of the National Trust's most popular properties. Exploring the new house and walking around the lake, visitors are presented with enchanting views of the castle, the ruins and the gardens. <laughs>